Hello, Lazzy here, and I was actually forced by Apple to update to iOS 14. This is Apple. Help! Help! If you want to be freed, what? you have to update to iOS okay. 14. Okay, just let me go! Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you. Thank you. You are banned from all shaders. What? And because of that, I have been left traumatized and I have decided to do another tutorial on how you can install and download shaders on iOS 14. So if you are enjoying today's video and learnt something new, a like is always appreciated. And if you want to become an absolute legend, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you. I'm going to be using Bicubic Shader as an example. As you can see, we've already got it loaded up on the screen. So first, we need to actually download it. So I'm going to click on the high one because I don't have the high version. And we're just going to download it. As you can see, just going to download. Yes, please. So now I'm going to close Safari and go into files so you can see my downloads right here. And as you can see, we have Bicubic Shader right here. Now a thing I have noticed, I'm not sure if it's because of files, but if you try to open a MC pack straight from files or even straight from Safari into Minecraft, so as you can see, we'll go share and open it into Minecraft. So as you can see, it comes up with an error. It's failed to import, but don't worry. Honestly, not sure why that happens. I think because in the files application, maybe it doesn't recognize the MC pack and it tries to make it a zip file. I'm not too sure. So you need to actually have another application. So I'm going to open it up into documents. So documents is a free application on the app store. If I scroll, oh, it's actually right there. So as you can see, we have copy to documents. You can use iZip or just any application, but I'm going to be using documents because it is a lot easier. So I go to copy to documents. Done. Thank you. It's going to open it up as you can see here. And you want to go open in another app. And then from here, you open it into Minecraft. And as you will see, it will install with no errors whatsoever. So as you can see, it has successfully imported by Cubic Shader, the high version. So that is it. It is very simple on how you can install MC packs. If you want to learn how to manually install them, like say resource packs or behavior packs, because sometimes the MC packs are a bit glitched and you may get an error. I will link an additional video in the description showing you how you can manually install. It was my iOS 13 tutorial because iOS 13 was a bit bugged with MC packs and you actually had to manually install them. If you're on iPad like myself, it is a lot easier just to tap long hold and then scroll across so you open it into documents. It should automatically open it into documents in a split screen view as you can see here. Then you just need to click on the three dots and then go to share and then open it straight into Minecraft that way. So that is how you can install shaders or resource packs or behavior packs, any MC file into Minecraft Pocket Edition on your iOS device on iOS 14. If you did enjoy today's tutorial and learned something new, make sure you smash that like button really gentle because you don't want to break your screen hopefully in the future that bug will be fixed on trying to open an mc pack from files because it's just pretty annoying but that is how you can just bypass it very easily thank you so much for watching i shall see you in the next one and peace